When I say posture, I bet your first thought is shoulders up, chest out, and you're really thinking about the whole idea of us slouching while working on our computer. But in running, there's even more to it than that. Posture is absolutely that standing tall, but it's really about getting your entire body into what we call that neutral alignment. And for runners, this is super important because if your hips, say one is slightly elevated, maybe you've been to the chiropractor and they've told you you have one leg that's longer. That's not because your leg is actually longer. It has to do with your pelvis and how your hip is kind of situated. So neutral alignment means not only is our head in line with our shoulders, but it's also in line with our pelvis. So our pelvis isn't tilted forward or back. And we want to make sure that we're not rotated more one direction or the other. And again, we want to make sure it's not one hip higher or lower. In these examples, I'm going to show you how you can help your body figure out what that neutral alignment is. A lot of us, myself included, go to the chiropractor when we start to notice little things are off. And a lot of the times it will be that maybe my hip has shifted a little bit. So I have shared exercises, which I will link to below, that are going to help with things like hip strength and core strength to keep you in alignment. But sitting, being on our phones, just little things we do daily make it easy for our posture to start to get off again. One of the first ways you can test this is to simply look at yourself in the mirror, shake things out, relax, and just see what your natural standing posture is. Do you find yourself leaning to one side? Is your head kind of cocked? You'll even start to notice things like your shoulder is tilted. That gives you an immediate place to start because you want everything aligned. Now we're gonna roll through a bunch of exercises. These can be done as part of your dynamic warm up before you do a strength training. Shoot, just when you wake up in the morning, this is going to loosen everything up and help your brain get closer to finding that natural alignment on its own. We're going to shift our body in each direction. So we're gonna roll our shoulders forward, all the way back. You can see that pelvis tucking under, pushing out. Basically, we're forcing our body into the extremes so that we can feel what's actually totally uncomfortable. And after multiple times of that, sort of settling back into a middle ground, we're gonna do things even like shifting your hip up on both sides so you can feel what that hip height might feel like. And you'll notice that when your hip comes up, your upper body also has to twist and your head has to shift over because your body's trying to stay in neutral. So we're gonna rotate through all of these different planes of motions. Try doing this even once a day for a week and then check yourself at the end of that week and I bet you will find that you're standing a little bit straighter with a little bit better alignment. The one final tip I have because you guys got really excited about this on Instagram is this shoulder harness. So for maybe an hour a day when I'm working on the computer, I will put this on. And it's basically a reminder to my brain to keep those shoulders back. And I found it is really helping me to just stay aware of it. And then you wanna hold the posture on your own without the brace. So that's why I'm only wearing it for about an hour. I will link below. As always, if you guys have more questions, more things you wanna know about running, hit me up in the comments or make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter where I'm sending out new articles every single week.